Okay, well, hey neighbors, welcome to the shed shop. In this video, we are going to show you how to uh, remove and reinstall your throttle cable, uh, your, I'm sorry, your throttle lever on your steel 029, 029 Super, MS290, MS310, and MS390. They will all have the same setup for your throttle lever. Now, normally this, uh, this um, choke lever, this kill switch lever, I forget what the technical name is, <laughs> would be in. And um, but we want to do an educational video as we're reinstalling this uh, or reassembling this this chainsaw for our neighbor Pete. And so essentially, what you guys will do is the first thing is you got to push your safety down here, pull your your throttle all the way in, and then what you'll see here. Let me get you a better view here. Sorry about the camera work, guys. I'm learning. Okay, so we'll pull our throttle, and you see that's just sitting in that little lip right there. And so all you have to do is very carefully um, come back here. I like to stay as close to this part where it clips in as I can. Um, and you can just pop that up with a screwdriver. I also have used needle nose. So if that was in there. Um, now, I don't want to push this in and out a bunch of times. But I will do it once for you guys. I don't want to wear it out. Um, and and now I do recommend you, you install this first. Now you can shimmy it up under that throttle lever and this clip. But it is a little bit difficult. And I have done it. But it, it is much easier just to keep your throttle lever out of the way. And I'm going to show you guys that. And then how I put these back in is I just put it inside the groove. You got to hold it kind of on this elbow here. Um that area because otherwise it just wants to turn on you like that and push out because you're holding the you're holding tension against the spring of the throttle lever on the the butterfly valve on your carburetor so you're pushing it in we've again you guys we've taken it we've hooked it into our carburetor back here oh yeah you guys can see that pretty good it hooks into your carburetor back here as long as you got an OEM uh, hopefully if you ordered a Chinese they didn't mess you up and give you an open slot there because I don't think it worked on this one hook that in so hook it in simple okay and then keep it level uh, you know parallel to your bench push it in and then at the same time you're holding it pull your throttle uh, trigger all the way uh, I have to back up on this one I have my throttle trigger just a tiny bit line it up with its groove you're going to hold it still parallel to your bench, holding your throttle trigger. Yes, it's got to hold a few things, but it's not that bad if you've done it. And you just want to push that down into its groove like that, and it snaps into place, and you're done. And again, to remove it, we just hold our throttle trigger in, uh, and we can just carefully pop it out of that groove, and it will come out. And we can unhook it from our carburetor. Now, this part... I do recommend some kind of grease, lubricant, oil, something right there so you don't break it. Um, it will go in. Let me make sure you guys can still see the camera so high I can't tell. Yes, as long as I don't move the saw, you guys can see good. Okay, it will go into the hole first. And then the next thing you want to look at is we've got to get this clip. Um, it goes up under that clip. Now you can pull the clip up and work it in and you're going to just kind of turn it and push gently at the same time you guys gently take your time on this because if you break this this is just aftermarket over twenty dollars for a, a piece of plastic you don't want to have to go through taking it off your saw uh, again trust me um and then it's going to once make sure it's under the the kill switch clip spring uh in in your hole over here and then there's a little groove down here i want to hopefully you guys still see that it will sit in a little open groove like that that it's just going to clip right down into and so it's again under 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 your clip back here your spring for your kill switch already let me get my wire out the way my kill switch wire okay and then you're just going to gently push it into that clip and then for your kill switch wire it simply goes push your wire jacket into the groove and push your uh, grommet or whatever that's technically called in there and then that wire will sit right in there I'll just go on one side of that channel and the other side push that down in there and that's good to go and then it's easier now 
to to now have your throttle cable installed or th lever installed. I don't know why I keep calling it cable. It's a lever. So one last time, we hook it into our carburetor. We hold it by the elbows. The easiest for me. Push, hold. Uh, start it in the groove is what I do. If I just set it in there, then I can hold it with my thumb while I grab whatever tool I'm going to use to push it down. Now, you might be able to push that with your fingers. I usually can't. I imagine a guy could put his one thumb here, uh, one thumb on this side, and one thumb on this side, and push that in. You guys, I have, I probably could, but it's hard for me, okay? I can, and so you can probably do it that way. If you've got arthritis and, and, and problems like me, it's easier to use a tool. So if this video was helpful, I'd really appreciate if you guys would like it. Uh, comment down below. Let me know if that was helpful. And if you have further questions uh, on, on this particular model or another model, uh, give me a content suggestion, what, what you guys would like to see um, detailed. And then also hit the bell notification so you guys know when I'm posting new videos. Uh, the best thing you guys can do to support me and encourage me and keep the YouTube channel going is just get involved. I want to know what my neighbors are doing, what they're working on, what you guys think. I got 8 billion neighbors and I want to get to know a few of you. And, and, and because I'm a hermit, this is the way I can, I can be more loving to my neighbors. And so again, guys, thanks for joining us and we'll see you on the next video.